Martin here. I can't come to your reunion on um, next Friday and Saturday evenings. Um, my school's got a 110th year birthday celebration at Town Hall on Friday night, so I'll be there from 8 o'clock in the morning after until 10.30 at night. And I'm quite disappointed I can't come because I really enjoyed the 10-year one and I missed the 10-year um, one for the class below you, so I actually haven't been in contact with any of you for a long time. Um, but I thought I'd send you a YouTube cheer uh, cheerio and um, wish you all the best. First of all, um, just want to thank Cindy for keeping me in the email loop because um, being in that email loop has just given me a little bit of idea of what you've been doing and where you're going, even if I just sort of read the um, addresses and see what sort of jobs you're in and where you're living and that and that. The wonders of modern technology is pretty good. But the most important thing is just to let you know that I really enjoyed teaching you guys. The, the, the school was a fantastic school. We did everything on the smell of an oily rag. I really enjoyed working with those teachers that were there. And I noticed on the email loop that the, um, some of the teachers that I worked with were still at the school. And hello to all of you. And so um, I'll just leave that here now. And you'll probably f I'll float in and out of the next couple of minutes talking to you about things I've thought about. Okay. But I also remember walking up those big boulders through the back of Bungonia and up the other side. And I remember coming up the back area before we doubled back down to the camp with you. And I was with Matt Curtis at the time. I said, Matt, this would be really, really nice just to chill out. And I remember we got up fairly early one morning and you guys were sort of lounging around the place. I think we were broken, woken up by um, someone putting a baked bean can in the fire. And so that was the alarm bell for the morning. But we went over the hill around the back and up in there there was this beautiful stream and Matt got in the stream, it was quite cold and we just got into it in a, in a swimmers or something and we got out the lather for our shaving and like real country people we just sort of lathered up and started shaving and I really remember that and I would never have had that experience if it wasn't for the camps and the camps were good from that point of view. in the classroom. The classroom, were, were, class was really funny actually, like you guys in year 9 and 10 and then those I had in 11 and 12. That's four years having the one teacher all the time and, and I really enjoyed it to be honest. It was good fun, I really got to know you and that's why I always think of you fondly. But it was pretty tough on you because you go, oh no. I've got whatever you call that, I don't know what you call me, you were very respectful to me, to my face anyway, and I'm sure you were behind my face. Uh, I, remember, I, very remember, I remember the very first lesson, and I wasn't quite sure, Peely, I was out of my depth, and I was out there, Pete was out there, and you were out there, and we were on the tennis courts, which is now where that big hall is, I believe, um, I've seen it once. And I didn't have a clue what I was doing, and Pete said, just go out there and we'll just teach him some sport. And, we played a bit of sport and we did, we did lots of things there like that and that led into playing the hockey and I loved playing the hockey against the girls in those uh, staff student hockey games. We actually didn't win too many of them and I remember some of the teachers were deadly serious and I was so keen to beat you and, but that was alright, that was good fun and I, I enjoyed that. And I really loved the rugby because I was sort of, my rugby career was cut short to uh, silly behaviour when I was in year 12 where I basically trod on some glass in the swimming pool the night before the game and I never played rugby again and so I remember getting on the field and playing rugby and I am sure you guys lined me up to give me some pretty good tackles and, and I remember receiving some real hard knocks. <laughs> it was quite funny actually. So that's what in the classroom did for me as well, you know, getting out there in the PE. But then of course there was the, the geography side of it as well. And I remember in year nine and ten, uh, you would test me and I was, actually I was really keen to do well and make sure that you did well. And, and there was a lot of pressure on us as teachers. Every fortnight we used to have to write in a little book that we'd go to the the principal or the headmaster as called in those days and uh, and he would check what we'd taught and then occasionally we'd have to hand our books in and he would check that what we said we taught, we actually taught. And sometimes that was hard because sometimes some of you would write things in the book and sometimes you wouldn't write anything at all. Or sometimes some of you wouldn't even have a book. 
<laughs> that's what it's like uh, being a 14, 15 year old, as I said. The funniest one I remember was when Mark played the coach in the all girls rugby side. And we ha I've forgotten the name of the play, and <laughs> the smell of Denkerup as all the girls walked through the audience onto the stage. And there was Marcus, the coach of an all-girls rugby team. In the play, it wasn't meant to be that, but I reckon that was a really good twist. We should have won that competition, actually, but that was a really, really good play. Hi again. Uh, it's in the day now, so I thought, one more to do, I'd like to do, and I want to talk about cross-country. Cross-country was really good. When I first arrived at the school, Pete gave me responsibility for looking after the cross-country. And I'd never really been involved in um, that sort of sport before, but I, I was really, I was really pleased that he gave me that responsibility, and it was it was pretty good to organise um, carnivals for you know eight, ten schools on an ongoing basis. But what was more interesting was just watching the, the our school cross country. You know, you guys would go for a run, and there'd be sort of probably Virginia and Kathy and maybe Danielle pottering down the back. Usually nearby would be Patrick and say Mark Davies and hi Mark, I said you were a bit um, at my old school where you used to pop in and do some work there. Um, and then of course out the front there was um, Jane and Madeline and then Jonathan and Carl and Sam and uh, it was just it was just it was good fun. But I remember some really interesting exchanges. I remember a particular exchange with Rob Stewart on the corner of Holly Road and the dirt road just there and um, you really let me know your thoughts. <laughs> It was pretty intense at the time, but when you look back on it, it's quite funny actually. You know, that was a tough course you guys had to run. You had to run all the way up, you know, up Yeen Street and around the other side and past Anglewood and down the dirt trail and around. Now it's a long way for you guys who might not be necessarily as fit as other people. And but those of you who ran hard, you know, you knew when you were running cross country, you were doing it well. I particularly enjoyed the couple of times you let me run with you because I was never a really good runner, but I really enjoyed just running sort of with the top three or four guys or the first or second woman, and it was just it was just really fun to go out there and run. But I guess I can't go past cross, cross country um, without talking about that that one incident, which is a really funny incident. I remember Les Man and myself had the walkie-talkies and. And, and Liz was saying, there's something going on, Martin, I don't know what it is. And I said, I suspect I know what it is. And, um, and we stopped in at um, John's place, going up there. We went over the hill, so we got the warning then. And then we ran the back of the dirt trail near, um, I guess it was around Ben's place, that area just there. We got another message that, you know, something's going on and they're ducking into properties. And we went over there a bit later on and we found some evidence. I knew what the evidence was, but, you know, I couldn't prove anything. But... So I let um, those who know, who should know, what had happened, and a couple of you were very clever. <laughs> it was really, it was really quite clever how you got out of that. You, you know, you arrived late um, uh, from the from the run, so we actually had a search party out for you, and um, and then you <laughs> very smart. You 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 do, you claimed a lesser evil. You know, you said, "Oh, look, we were doing this. You know, you know we're sorry with the rest of it, but you and I know you were doing something else." And, but that's what you do. You push the envelope and you have a bit of fun. And I often look back to that cross-country carnival with a great amusement. It was really, really funny. So cross-country, yeah, that was, you know, out of the classroom, that was a really, really good time doing that at the school. And I thoroughly enjoyed doing the cross-country and just watching you guys, you know, run and not run. Particularly those days we used to make you run in that icy weather. And I don't know if it snowed even once. You wouldn't get away with it today, that's for sure. All right, that's all from me on that part of my time with you and I'll catch you soon. Bye for now. Hi, it's uh, time to wrap up my rambles now. I hope you've enjoyed my little YouTube for you. Most of all, have a good time on Friday night. It's a pity I can't be there and I really would like to be there, hence I've gone to the effort to make this little YouTube for you. But having said that, I'm sure you'll have a good time without me and just enjoy the time catching up with all your friends and with your teachers that happen to turn up.